Colin is saying, what advice can you give to somebody who was fired for poor performance? What should one tell a prospective employer uh, at an interview without being untruthful? You, you want to be upfront always, always. Um, and you want to make sure that it, if it happens to you, and it happened to me before, that you leave on good terms because that's your reference. And if you didn't leave on good terms, then um, make sure you have a buddy that works at that company that can be a reference for you, okay? And you don't have to lie and say that was my boss, but just, you know what I'm getting at. Um, and then maybe even have your buddy, if, if he or she uh, is, is a good friend, to write a recommendation for you on LinkedIn while you're at that company, yeah, or about that company. But you gotta bring it up. You, you gotta bring it up, Colin. You, you gotta mention it. But there's always a way to take, and I call the straw dummy of an argument, because if you think of a scarecrow, it's just a straw dummy. It's not real, right? It's a weak argument. So, you know, what, what you can do is you can kind of create a weak argument if it's true um, and then just beat it up. Like you could say something like this. Well, I was part of the reason why, and it was, it was a mutual, kind of a mutual decision or whatever, if it was, is I just wasn't, I wasn't passionate about that industry. Um, my real passion is X. And it, let's assume you're interviewing with a company right now to do a slightly different skill. It's X. You know, I've always been much more passionate about X. And, and I realize that. Uh, and, and here's why I'm incredibly passionate about X. Yada, 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 whatever. Just give, give lots of examples. So just, and, and a lot of people got fired because they weren't doing what they're passionate about. I mean, you, you're in great company. Great company. I don't know if I'm great company, but I am company. Um, you know, like Madonna, she got fired by Dunkin' Donuts. Michael Bloomberg got fired by, um, I think it was uh, Merrill Lynch. Um, and he certainly got his, his revenge. Robert Redford, the great actor, and it's so sad he's not doing movies anymore. He's awesome. He got fired from an oil company. There's so many great people that got fired. They look back in hindsight and, and they're probably grateful it happened. You might not understand it now, but years from now you look back and say, that was a turning point for me and I'm glad it happened. Like Jay-Z, for example, he could not get a recording contract. Nobody would sign him up. And, and he actually was a drug dealer for a while just to pay the bills. Terrible, but he was. And in hindsight, he's probably grateful that no recording company or would, would sign him up because he said, screw it. I'm going to start my own company. And Colin, if I can humbly help you start your own company, let me know, please. Yeah, that, 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 that's why I'm here, to humbly help you if I can.